Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily sip of just the right tea. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. It is so good to see you, greet you, and meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, everybody. So check this out. General energy reading. This is no, there are no signs associated with this. This is a general collective reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. So whenever you are guided to watch and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Definitely share this with your friends or people that you think may be of benefit from hearing these messages. Also, absolutely smash that like button as it does help the algorithm get more of these videos to more people, yeah? Let's spread the word about the sip, y'all. Yes, excellent. I'm gonna give this two more shuffles and then we'll see what message we have for the collective for today, yeah? Last shuffle, last shuffle. All right, what's going on? What's the sip for the day, collect for the collective today, for the spirit? What's the sip for the collective? What does the collective need to know at this time? We have the Eight of Swords as our first card, okay? Ooh, with the lovers in reverse. Interesting. One last card here. Okay, well, we got two of them. Oh, no, we got more. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, the Lovers in Reverse, the Hermit, the High Priestess, the King of Cups. Uh, I want to pull one last card, please, just to round this out. Okay, <laughs> we get two more. Uh, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. All right, guys. So give me a moment. Let me, uh, let me sit with this for a moment because this feels really tricky. Um, this feels very tricky. Uh, first thing that I want to say is it feels like, that, uh, it feels like we're dealing um, with uh, counterparts, soulmates, a romantic situation. Wow, this is interesting. Um, somebody feels that they are trapped here and that they can't make a decision moving forward. But that is not true. Okay, you have the Eight of Swords, which is that energy of feeling trapped. But then you have the Lovers in Reverse. Um, either there's some sort of refusal to make a decision or somebody feels that they can't make a decision. But what I feel like is really going on here is... It, the, the lovers in reverse really kind of feels mostly like there is an inability to decide. There's an inability, an inability to decide. And what is really necessary here is a level of introspection, is a level of understanding what it is you truly want. I feel like we are talking to a couple here. Um, quite frankly, I feel like we're talking to a masculine here. I feel like the masculine individual, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But I feel like the masculine individual here is the focus of this reading, but not necessarily in the typical way, okay? Um, we're not looking at this as like the feminine is dealing with some masculine and she's caught up with him. It's actually the reverse. What I'm feeling here is the masculine is dealing with some sort of feminine individual, Again, whether man or a woman, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could be a woman that's more masculine and the, the feminine is the, um, and the man is more feminine, or we could be dealing with uh, same sex couples. It really doesn't matter. Take the res take it as it resonates. Place this in your life as you as it fits naturally to you. But I feel like there is a masculine individual here that is stuck on a feminine that has her own vibe going. And is very much focused on her path forward. Okay, it feels like this feminine energy, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Three of Wands. It feels like this feminine energy is way more focused on her path forward than she is on this masculine. And the masculine is here represented by the King of Cups. Okay. Uh, the masculine has some deep love and affection for this feminine. 
But I will say that at this point, it feels like there is some sort of... Okay, I just heard entrapment. Um, but I don't feel like the feminine here has done anything to trap this feminine or this masculine. I feel like the masculine has gotten caught up in this situation. And it may not necessarily be going well. Okay, the relationship may have started out well enough in the beginning. Um, but the situation either hasn't been going well or isn't going well or is not developing in the way that would be conducive to remaining so stuck on this person. But the fact of the matter is that there is a level of introspection that needs to happen here. The hermit. And what I'm getting with the hermit is that really this masculine individual represented by the king of cups that does, yes, it feels like this person does have quite a bit of love for the feminine. And in many ways it may be healthy. Um, but the masculine here needs to go through this level of introspection to understand what's really, truly tripping them up. Or what's really causing them either to not be able to make a decision or maybe even refuse to make a decision that's best for himself. Because like I said, this feminine here, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, this feminine here is very much into her own, his or her own path. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to continue saying her just to help distinguish between the two parties. Again, gender is not what we're, we're discussing here. We're talking energies. Okay. Um, but this feminine here is very much on her own path, is very much got her eyes on her own prize. Um, this feels like a go-getter. This feels like a very, maybe even a business person, um, someone that is just very focused on their money, their finances, their goals, their, 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 their creative endeavors. Um, and I don't want to say that's unhealthy because it's not unhealthy. But what is unhealthy here is the nature of this relationship. Because this masculine, the king of cups, keeps giving to the situation, hoping that the feminine will want to settle down with him or will want to make this more stable or solid or grounded, will want to work on this with him. And that's really just not where she is. And there is a level here of this feminine, to be honest with you, this feminine needs to be honest as well. Because at, at to a certain degree, to a certain extent, I feel like this feminine, feminine is kind of taking advantage of this masculine. Of the love, the care, the grace. It's so crazy that we're talking about this because when I first started reading for the collective, it was the reverse. It was the masculine that was taking advantage of the feminine. But now the roles have reversed and... Now it seems that there are certain masculine individuals out there that are learning the lessons that the feminine learned or that the feminine went through. Do you see? It's kind of like how the, the pendulum swings, okay? Now, overall energy, we do have the seven of pentacles. Okay. And this is asking, this is, an, uh, this is kind of asking you to ask yourself, What's really going on here? Or how are really things really progressing here? How are things really progressing here? Okay. Are you really receiving the fruits of your labor? Is this really the type of relationship or situation that you can want to continue being a part of? Quite frankly, I really do feel like the answer is no. But that's where... That's where the Eight of Swords, the lovers in reverse, and the Hermit comes into play. Because someone is in denial. Someone is, someone is lying to themselves about the true nature of this. I don't even want to call it a relationship. I want to call it a situationship. I, I, I get this feeling that whomever this Queen of Wands three of, and Three of Wands energy is, they are... I want to say they're distracted, but the only reason I want to say they're dis or the only point of view I'm going to say that they are distracted from is the point of view of looking through the lens of this relationship. 
But I don't even feel like this Queen of Wands energy is really all that invested in this relationship. I feel like the Queen of Wands energy is kind of using this masculine in terms of um, getting what she or he wants from him and then moving forward. Moving forward with their day, moving forward. It's like, I, I, I just get this. I, I see, I have an image in my head of a masculine and a feminine in bed together. Um, and, you know, they spent the night together. They did their thing, whatnot, whatever. They're waking up in the morning and the masculine is all like king of cups, like devoted, like, let me make you breakfast. Are you okay? Do you need anything? Blah, blah, like completely just like doting over this feminine. And this feminine is here laying in the bed next to him on her phone. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no, I don't need anything. Yeah, what? I'm sorry. I'm not even paying attention. And again, I don't want to say that any of this is a bad thing. Other than the fact that there's a lack of honesty. But I feel like the lack of honesty is being mirrored between the two of you. The feminine isn't being completely honest about what it is she wants or how it is she sees this relationship. And the masculine isn't being completely honest with himself about the true nature of this relationship. So that's where the seven of pentacles comes into play. It's like, is this a harvest that you still want to continue investing in? Or is this a relationship or a situation that you still want to continue investing in? Both parties need to be honest with themselves. Now, the only thing that I haven't talked about here is the high priestess. And what I feel like is coming through with the high priestess here is that somebody's intuition, higher self, their guides, their spirit guides, whatnot, whatever, have been trying to, to enlighten this person about what's truly going on here. And I feel like that's this king of cups. I feel like this king of cups is very, either very intuitive, very spiritually attuned, or um, is very much in touch with his, his or her emotions, their feminine side, their intuition. I feel like this person, this King of Cups, whomever this King of Cups is, I feel like this King of Cups is very much in tune with their intuition. And they're very much in tune with spirit. They're very spiritual. Or at least they've gone through a certain level of spiritual awakening, spiritual attunement that allows them to be open to, you know, the messages from their guides and whatnot, whatever, and from spirit. Like, they're open to that. They may not be full woo-woo, like, like, whatever, but they're at least open to it. Enough to hear messages from either their higher self or their guides and some and they and your higher self or this person's higher self or their guides or whatnot whatever the universe has been trying to put them on to this to the truth of this situation has been trying to get this person to question the situation more there but you this person this king of cups you may have even been getting signs synchronicities little weird shit that like makes you question the nature or the reality of this relationship, but then you slip back into this Eight of Swords, this kind of like blindness, tra entrapment, and refuse to make a decision, the lovers in reverse. Okay, we're gonna get some clarification here. And again, you guys, I am not going to say that anything, that either person is really all that wrong here, okay? At least in terms of their own personal alignment. This masculine, if this masculine wants a queen of cups, then he needs to let go of the queen of wands and open his space up for a queen of cups. If this feminine is all about her queen of wands right now and is not even looking for real romance or relationship, then this queen of wands needs to let go of the king of cups. That's what's the that's the discrepancy here. Neither one of you are wrong for being in the personal alignment that you're in. But what is making this situation difficult or what's making this situation I guess you could say wrong for lack of a better term is the fact that you're holding on to each other needlessly i guess is what i want to say there we're going to get some clarification i definitely want to talk about what the high priestess has to say but 
I also, I want to start with the Eight of Swords. Why is this person, this masculine energy... Why is this masculine energy in this Eight of Swords? You know, it's very... I didn't realize this until just now, but I have this crick... It, like, my, my neck on my right side seized up this morning out of nowhere. I don't know why it happened. I was fine when I woke up. I was going about my day. I was going about my business. Interesting. I'm going to explain this to you guys because now that I think about it, it's relevant. Um, I was going about my business and um, the right side of my neck seized up. Um, that's your masculine side, okay? And your neck is where your, uh, your throat chakra is. So this is uh, self-expression. Uh, ideally authentic self-expression and what the thought process I was having at the time was of me kind of talking to a friend of mine um about how I haven't been around lately I've been in a uh, me personally I've been in a strong hermit mode lately um and I have not wanted to hang out at all and the thought process that was going through my head was my friend or this friend of mine asking me all of these questions about my life and me not, I don't really want to talk about it. You know what I mean? I'm not looking to talk about what's going on personally in my life. Not that anything's wrong. It's just, I don't want to talk about it. And in this, in this, this thought process I was having, this friend of mine was asking me all this, all these questions and I wasn't really answering and it kind of frustrated her and she started to get upset. And I made this comment in my mind to her. I made this comment of like, you're asking me all these questions, like we're dating or something. And now, and now, as soon as I thought that, I was like, wow, Eric, that was kind of harsh. But then the song, this song, uh, I don't remember, I don't know who sings it, but we don't talk anymore. Da 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 da. We don't da 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 like we used to do. Do you guys know that song? That song started playing in my head. And that's when my neck seized up on my masculine side. And now I'm talk I'm doing this reading for the collective and I'm talking through this and it's like this masculine is all seized up. Why? This masculine is holding back somehow. I feel like this masculine knows that the queen of wands here is not about the emotion, is really not trying to get too deep. And yet he's not being authentic and telling her what it is he truly wants and or needs. Or he's not being truly authentic in, in going after what it is that he wants or needs. And that would mean letting go of this feminine that really doesn't seem to have that much time or attention for him. Even though he's devoted, he's doting on her. Let's talk about the Eight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Fool. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. But let's talk about the Eight of Swords for this masculine energy. What's the Eight of Swords, please? The Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Overall energy, look at this, is the King of Wands. Well, that's interesting. So apparently this person is determined to keep this situation going. And I'm, I, this is really interesting, you guys, because now this person is showing up as the King of Wands when before he was showing up as the King of Cups. I feel like this King of Wands energy is false. I feel like this King of Wands, this front, this effort that this person is trying to make to show up as the counterpart to the Queen of Wands is false. Because it's clarifying the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is a mental prison. This person, or you, will say, if you are the masculine energy that's listening to this reading and is resonating with this, you are forcing yourself, fighting Knight of Swords, Albeit naively, I will say, because this Knight of Swords energy is a pretty naive energy a lot of the time. Very shoot first, ask questions later, okay? 
not real too not too much thought behind his plan of attack he just oftentimes the knight of swords just kind of goes he's the yes man t he tends to be he's that he's that lackey that you know the king and the queen send out to go do their dirty work a lot of the time he doesn't ask questions he just fucking goes for it he does whatever he's told sometimes a lot of the time okay that's often how what the knight of swords represents i don't feel like there's much thought behind this I feel like your King of Cups aspect is getting the best of you. And I feel like you're, 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 you're grasping at straws. You are doing anything that you can, including trying to show up as the King of Wands to this Queen of Wands in order to preserve the foundation that you have with this individual, in order to keep this cycle going. This is, look, I'm going to tell you this right now. And I, I, I'm telling you this because I love you and I want you to be happy. This is not who you are. This King of Wands energy is not who you are. And I can tell you right now, this Queen of Wands knows that. She sees that within you. I don't know what her deal is. I don't know why she's sticking around in this situation. Maybe because she feels comfortable here or maybe because she just likes the attention that she's getting. Oh, that could be it. Actually, that sounds just about like it. She likes the attention that she's getting. She likes the fact that you are you or this person is doting on her, literally changing himself in order to be with her. I mean, straight up and down, that's some toxic energy. That's some narcissistic energy, but it's the Queen of Wands. Like, I get it. But see, a true King of Wands would be just as aloof as the, as the Queen of Wands. So it's not like she really wants that. But that could be another reason in terms of why people are lying to themselves here. So now with that said, I want to clarify this King of Cups energy. Because to be quite honest with you, bro, I want you to stay here. Because this is a beautiful energy. And I want you to be with someone that aligns with this energy. I want you to be with your queen of cups, not some queen of wands that doesn't have the time, time, time attention, energy, or effort for you. But she can sleep with you. Why? Because the sex is good? Because she likes the attention? You deserve so much better than that. King of cups. Clarify the king of cups, please. Dude. Bro. Ten of Swords, bro. Look look at that. Ten of Swords is the first card out. Clarifying your King of Cups. You were getting, like, I mean, like, King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. Damn, dude. Two of Cups, Temperance. Overall energy is the Two of Swords. Denial. There's the denial right there. I under, you might be having, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. And I mean this with all the love and the respect in the world, but this is the sip, bro. We, we spill the tea here and I'm not trying. And yes, I know we, we get all, we get all like, we, yes, we're spilling tea here. Okay. But I'm not trying to spill no tea just for drama, just for shits and giggles, just to put somebody on blast. You know, just to humiliate them or embarrass them. My intention with these readings is to help bring clarity to people. Okay? Is to help give you the guidance that you need. Is to help give you the messages that you need to hear that you're refusing to listen to or that you're unable to get on your own. Okay? You're lying to yourself by staying in this relationship with this person. You are in denial. This situation needs to be over. Now, I there's a part of there's a part of this energy that I feel like you don't even want to be in this King of Cups energy anymore. You want to be a King of Wands. I feel like some of you or whomever may be resonating with this reading, you may be saying to yourself, "Well, fuck it, maybe I should just become a player. Maybe I should just become aloof." Maybe I should stop being so caring and compassionate. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. And that's what Temperance is asking you to do. 
Temperance is asking you to be bring to be balanced, to compromise, to say to yourself, if this is who I truly am, this King of Cups energy, if I am this compassionate, loving, unconditionally loving, devoted, emotionally available, like if I am this person, then maybe I need to stop going after people that are not aligned with that. Maybe I need to stop going after people that are not emotionally available. I can't be like, I'm having such deja vu right now. I can't begin to tell you how valuable you as this King of Cups are in this world. I can't, I can't even begin to tell you masculine King of Cups, how many of us feminines run around here bitching and complaining about how we can't find nobody that's emotionally available. You have no idea how valuable you are as this King of Cups in this world. Please do not let go of that and now force yourself into being a King of Wands. Let this Queen of Wands go. Let her do whatever it is she's doing. Again, I'm not trying to demonize her. The only thing I don't like about this situation is that both of y'all are lying to each other. Or lying to yourselves. Sis, go and do whatever it is you need to do, but leave this King of Cups alone, man. I want to clarify the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands, please. Clarify the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. The Empress. And the Three of Swords reversed. Four of Pentacles. One last card. Anything else? Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. What I want to say about this with this Nine of Pentacles here is this person is better off single. This person is better off single. Why? Because she doesn't have the capacity to love right now. She does it. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying that they're wrong, but this person has some healing that they need to do. This person is, this queen of wands is holding on to this situation. Four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. It's holding on to this situation. And actually I feel like, quite frankly, I feel like this person is holding on to past situations here. You have the empress with the three of swords in reverse. Um, this person enjoys the unconditional love, the care, the grace, the nurturance, and all that whatnot, whatever that they get from this relationship. But they are not capable of reciprocating it right now because they are stuck in their own sense of heartbreak. Three of Swords reversed. And they're holding on to this situation instead of doing the work that they need to do to be healed. Three of Pentacles. Or, and or, they're holding on to this situation while they're focused on building some sort of business or career. This person may be telling the King of Cups, I'll be ready to heal or I'll be ready to love again when I have my business and my finances ready to go. That is a cop out. This person is avoiding doing their own healing work and is instead holding on to the empress energy, the love, the care, the affection that they get, the nurturance that they get from this King of Cups. This person is better off single. In many, Nine of Cups, it's, I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. In many cases, and I hate to say this, I hate to break this to you, but we're spilling the tea here, right? Because the truth needs to come out. And quite frankly, this might actually be what your higher self or the, your, your intuition or your guides may have been trying to tell you all along. But in many cases, when this Queen of Wands goes out into the world, when she's not around her King of Cups, she's single. She don't got a man. She don't got a woman. She ain't with nobody. What? I'm sorry, that's a surprise to you? When this person goes out in the world and is doing their thing whatever that may be, pursuing whatever it is they want to pursue, building whatever life it is that they want to build, they do not have a partner. 
They do not have a significant other. They might as well be single the way they protect, the way they present themselves. Next, I want to see what the high priestess has to say. There's the eight of swords again. Only you are the one that can free yourself from this. We have been trying to tell you all along. You are holding yourself in this mental prison all on your own. No one else is holding you here. We're trying to get you out of it. High priestess, please. You see that, right? You, you see that? You see that, right? I mean, anything else that you want to say, High Priestess? That's the Eight of Cups. And for those of you that are not Tarot savvy, excuse me, I'm being a bit dramatic, but I'm a big old Leo, so here we go. <laughs> okay? But like, the Eight of Cups talks about walking away. You have eight neatly stacked cups here. You have something that you have been putting a hell of a lot of emotion. Come on now. Come on. Don't play this game with me. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't play this game. Focus. Thank you. Okay. That's better. You have eight neatly stacked cups here. You've been putting a lot of time, attention, and effort into this situation. But it is not going to give you the ten of cups that you choose, to, that you wish to have, that you are, have been trying to work towards. At some point, you're just going to have to cut your losses, face the facts, and walk away. See, but then there's this, then there's the denial again, the two of swords. I don't even know. I don't even know what where, what I want to say or where I, where I want to go um, from here. But spirit just said, closing overall message. I'm gonna reshuffle. Okay, spirit is asking me to reshuffle three times. Three shuffle. No, use the same deck. All right, we're reshuffling, and we're gonna get a closing message from the tarot, and then we're gonna get you some closing oracle guidance. But like. And I'm frustrated here. I'm sure you can hear the frustration, the annoyance in my voice. I'm not frustrated with you. I'm frustrated with this situation, man. Like, I'm frustrated that someone as emotionally available, emotionally aware, spiritually aware, whatnot, whatever, is trapped, is caught up with a queen of fucking wands that doesn't give a damn about him. I'm frustrated because we're out here, us feminines are out here looking for your ass. Talk about where the fuck you is. But you're wrapped up with this queen of wands that doesn't give you the time of day. Like, what? How the hell does that work? But, but this is a part of life. I mean, this is a part of our growth and development. And, and to be honest with you, I will say this. I'm glad we're having this conversation. I'm glad this message is coming out here. I'm glad the tables are turning and now the masculines are starting to learn this very, very valuable lesson. And it's a lesson in self-worth, queen of pentacles. It's a lesson in honor. It's a lesson in commitment. It's a lesson in reciprocity. Closing or a closing message, please spirit, for this reading. There's that King of Wands again. Okay. Closing message, please. Shit. Seven of Pentacles again. Page of Swords. Five of Swords. The Tower in reverse and the Five of Pentacles reversed. Yo ass has got to make a decision. Two of Wands is the overall energy. 
you have been trying to match this Queen of Wands energy for this whole time, all along. And now Spirit is asking you to ask yourself, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, how is that really working for you? Are you even happy being this King of Wands? Because from what I can feel right now, you don't like being this King of Wands. You don't. You find it to be vile. You find it to be disgusting. It's gross. It's not who you are. It feels foreign. It doesn't feel right. There's something wrong about it. I should, I should care more. I shouldn't be so careless. I shouldn't be so aloof, nonchalant. It's not who I am. Exactly. It's not who you are. Nor is it supposed to be who you are. Or I should say, nor is it who you're supposed to be. You are supposed to be the king of cups that you naturally are. The caring, compassionate, emotionally available, emotionally mature person that you are naturally. Or at least who it is you've grown to be. Five of swords. Lose-lose situation. Fighting for nothing. At, at, at keeping up with this situation at all costs. That's never good. The tower in reverse. This situation should have ended a long time ago. But you have been doing everything in your power to avoid what is inevitable. The destruction of this relationship. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And to be honest with you, this is the worst aspect of it all. The lack mentality of it. The feelings of inadequacy. The feelings of insecure. Are you not? Are you really? Are you really going to? Thank you. The feelings of insecurity. What hurts the most? Why I'm feeling like this is the most painful aspect of this closing message. Is the fact that you are such a beautiful, loving, caring, compassionate individual being. And yet you don't feel good enough. To walk away from this situation, even though it doesn't honor you, even though it doesn't hurt you, even though it's influencing you to be something or someone that you're not. That's the worst aspect of all. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Maybe it's just it's not my responsibility to do so. Okay. But I don't know what to do or what to say to, say to get you to see the beauty of who you truly are. King of Cups. But you're going to have to find that aspect for yourself. I want to clear. I want, I want, I want to pull one more message for this King of Cups. Anything else for the King of Cups, please, Spirit? Message of encouragement, maybe? Anything else you want to say? King. Oof. <laughs> King of Swords to the Six of Cups. And that's it. Overall energy is, there's that Queen of Wands. Come on now. There's the Queen of Wands. So the last message for the King of Cups is, we are going to need you to be very clear and very objective on just what type of soulmate bond or situation or situationship this is. We need you to see this connection for what it clearly, truly is. You are the king of cups. They are the queen of wands. This is not compatible. We need you to see that for what it is, king of swords. This will only benefit you. It really, truly will. It will only benefit you. Okay? It may not feel like it right now. It may not look like it right now. Because right now you're facing losing a companion, losing a partnership, losing love. But is it really love, dude? Or are you just holding a place for this person? Are you filling a space? Are you just a warm body for this person? Like, come on. You deserve so much more than that. I need to move forward. I'm trying to figure out where to get our closing oracle guidance from. I'm going to pause for a second and collect myself. Hold on. Okay. 
Closing Oracle guidance is coming from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for today's sip. Four. And five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Oh. This might make me cry. Card number eight. Into Me I See. There's a Katy Perry song with those exact words. Into, oh, no, no, not those words. It's similar. Into me you see. Into me you see. Wow. I don't, I, I'm not going to sing the rest of it. Check it out, though. It's Katy Perry. I love her. I fucking, I fucking love Katy Perry. Okay, anyway. But it's a really beautiful song. And it's all about intimacy. It's all about being with someone that actually sees you for who you are, appreciates you, loves you. Okay, fine. The key concepts of this card are intimacy, trust in another, dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connection, the willingness to be vulnerable. At certain precious moments, you're called into a deep and meaningful connection with the world or another person. A magical affinity arises with the kind of intimacy that in turn encourages a greater understanding of yourself. The relationship acts as a mirror, helping you see your own patterns. What it reflects about you can further your own personal evolution. Now is the time to take a risk by connecting with another. Can you see how far you've come? Can you see what is still active within you that needs to change or heal? You will discover more about who you are as you discover more about another. Even if you cannot possibly know what, is true, what it's truly like to be in someone else's shoes, you can listen and learn. This is a magical gift being offered to you right now. This concept applies beyond romantic connection. What do the dynamics in the closest friendships, work relationships, and family say about you? Relationships are, extraordinarily, are extraordinary opportunities for healing. When predicted on honesty, on, well, I'm sorry, when predicated on honesty and caring, they have a great impact on how you contribute to the world. Intimate relationships hold up a mirror of truth and reveal more treasures than you might ever expect. If you can look into it, Take a risk and see everything as beautiful, even in its imperfections. Imagine how deep you could go. Okay, guys, I am going to leave it there. I love you all so very much. Um, I, oh, sorry guys, I keep hitting the camera. Okay, I love you all so very much. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check out the information in the description box below where I list the uh, readings that I offer, including uh, their details uh, and including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That's a great way to support the channel. Also, you could potentially get discounts on your personal readings, either a 10% or a 20% discount. Or you get uh, with a certain tier, depending on which tier you subscribe to, you could actually get one reading with me throughout the month, uh, per month, excuse me, uh, uh, for with your subscription. And actually, I just realized, I forgot that I did this, but that tier is $10 less than a private reading. Um, a private reading is $65, whether it's a 30 minute reading or just a recorded message. Or, uh, uh, recorded full length reading or and that tier on patreon is $55 you get a monthly reading one reading per month with me and everything else that is on up, up on patreon I forgot I did that but that's a really great deal anyway that is a great way to support the channel also thank you so very much to all my current patrons without your support I would not be able to be here 
Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip of tea on Monday. Yeah? Okay. Please take care of yourself and please love yourself because I love you. So if I can love you and I don't even know you, I'm sure someone else out there does too. Bye.